what's up? How's everybody doing today? You hear the dog barking in the background? Hmm. Daunting. So here I am in Amityville, and I'm on Ocean Avenue. And I'm walking towards a very, very famous house. And you've probably heard of this house, because it inspired plenty of movies, books, documentaries. You know what house I'm talking about. The Amityville Horror House. And it's right here, right past those bushes. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous area. Gorgeous. Like Amityville is a beautiful little town. But let's clear up some misconceptions about this house. I mean, if you believe in hauntings, if you believe in ghosts, then you probably believe something happened here. In terms of spirits, ghosts, that sort of thing. I'm a bit more on the skeptical side of that sort of uh, discussion. However, another misconception is that people think nothing happened in this house. Something really bad happened here. Really, really bad. In the house that I'm about to show you, in the early morning hours of November 13th, 1974, six members of the DeFeo family were slain in their beds with a 35 caliber rifle. Eldest son, Ronald Butch DeFeo Jr., confessed to murdering his entire family in cold blood. Among the dead were his parents, Louise and Ronald DeFeo Sr., and his siblings, 18-year-old Don, 13-year-old Allison, 12-year-old Mark, and 9-year-old John Matthew. A jury convicted him on six counts of second-degree murder and sentenced him to six concurrent sentences of 25 years to life. All six bodies were found in their beds, positioned on their stomachs. The victims appeared to be shot with a high-powered rifle at around 3.15 a.m. There were some things that didn't quite add up. There were no signs of any struggle present on the bodies or evidence that they were drugged. No neighbors who were awake reported hearing any gunshots. Only the DeFeo's family dog barking into the night. Ronnie DeFeo Jr. spent the day drinking at a bar and then he left, but he returned at around 6.30 a.m. yelling, you have to help me, I think my mother and father are shot. Some of the pages of the bar followed him back to the house on Ocean Avenue and witnessed the horrifying scene. There are a lot of gruesome crime scene photos available online of this incident. I decided not to include any of those and instead I went over to the nearby cemetery to pay my respects to the DeFeo family. It's hard to find pictures of the DeFeo family online. There's Ronald DeFeo, the father. Here's Louise DeFeo, the mother. And coming up is a picture of the children. And Ronald DeFeo Jr. is actually in this picture, but I chose to crop him out. You see, I'm not a journalist. I just make YouTube videos. And some of them affect me, and especially something like this. And I really didn't want to put his face in my video. Ronald DeFeo Jr.'s alibi of being at work and in the bar Crumbled fast as police noted the family had been dead before 6 a.m. DeFeo Jr. frantically changed the story many, many times throughout the investigation. At one point, he claimed that a mob hitman named Louis Fellini killed his family and made him watch. But Fellini had a solid, out of state alibi, and soon DeFeo Jr. confessed to police what was assumed always to be the truth. He murdered his entire family by himself.
So a couple named George and Kathy Lutz moved into the house shortly afterwards where they only stayed for 28 days and they left the house claiming it was haunted. Now, they wrote a book about it with Jay Anson and the book was a massive bestseller. But George and Kathy Lutz, here's a picture of them right here, at one time claimed it was a hoax and they passed a lie detector test, which doesn't say much really, but then also they claimed it was a hoax again. I believe they did to get out of debt that's the original book right there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I don't believe that the house is actually haunted. I think they capitalized on something very terrible that happened in that house. Something real that happened there. But write in the comments, tell me what you think. Maybe you think differently. It's worth noting that the house has had five different owners since the DeFeo murders. One of the owners even changed the address from 112 Ocean Avenue to the new one. Because, you know, ghosts are really bad at reading maps. Well, obviously, it's to keep gawkers like myself away from the house. Most recently, it was purchased for $605,000, $200,000 below the asking price in February of 2017. And yes, one of the owners at one point did remove those famous windows at the side of the house. So there it is behind me. And now I'm going to take you around back for a different view of the house. And not a lot of people ever show, I don't think. Maybe they do. So we're gonna get in my car, we're gonna drive around the back. So, if you're going to come out here, this waterway leads to the ocean. There's the house right over there, the back of it. When I was at the front of the house, a neighbor came right by me with her dog. Then another guy jogged right by me. It was right while I was in front of the house. No problems. Here on the other side, though, when I was filming the back, somebody did come out and uh, ask what I was doing. Because it's private property all along this side, right here. You can see behind me there. And... I was just yelling a little bit about filming or about going on private property. What was, what was yelling about filming or taking pictures? She said, do not walk on our property or the property, she said. And kept repeating it. And I said, I'm not. I'm just on a street. So I guess it gets a little tiring for the people that live in this area if people trample on their private property. But if you're on a street, it's fine. I guess she maybe owned this part, that part of the property and that was her boat. I don't know. But I had no plans to walk on it. I never would do that. I don't trespass. And for the neighbors on either side, I guess it gets tiresome. And here I am, another person coming along. But if you buy an infamous house, the people that live there must get tired of it. But again, like, you know, if you buy an infamous house, it's going to happen. For the neighbors, I guess it gets frustrating. But really, there's no one else around. There's no one, there's no one here. There's not a million people coming by looking at the house right now. But it must happen every day. Amityville is a pretty famous place because of what happened here. What Ronnie DeFeo did to his parents and his four younger siblings in that house Whew. well I got a lot of requests to come out here do the uh, Amityville house it's my second time coming out to Amityville first time filming it hope you liked it and I'm glad I got to get some footage all right peace out <laughs>